Hey, it's George here to empower your inner video creator and today we're talking all about YouTube outros. Yeah, a lot of YouTubers will use the standard end screen elements to make their outros, but they're not very interactive. That's why I wanted to show you two different ways that you can create a custom end screen and make it look amazing. The first way is a custom end screen using just filming. In our example, we just did some careful shot planning to match all the end screen elements we wanted to use with real elements in our studio. We used a ring light to substitute our subscribe button and two computer screens to substitute our videos. Having this setup lets you get really interactive with your outros, encouraging people to click. Don't be afraid to tell them to subscribe or watch your videos. Once you have your shot and uploaded your video, open the end screen tab in YouTube. And inside you can add each of the elements and place them over top of your shot. Make sure your shot doesn't force your elements too high or too low in the frame, otherwise this outro style won't work. But if you want one element to come first, just drag it before the others on the end screen timeline. Another great way to make a cool outro is to use an editing software like Filmora. If you don't have it already, you can try it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So once you have Filmora opened up, you can put a background or use one of the sample colors as your background. And next, import the free outro template animations that we added in the description of this YouTube video. You're going to want to blend them into your background using the screen blend mode. So these elements that are animated represent your videos that are in your end screen. So put two videos and blend them both into your background using the screen mode. You're going to have to place them in different places around your frame to get them just right. This might take a little bit of time. And then you're going to want to use a circle for your subscribe button. We've also given you that animated uh, element. So once you have those three elements and you blended them into your background, move them around and find good places for them. All right. So once we have that, we can actually add more sample colors to fill in the where the videos will be on your frame, fit them in between these uh, animations. So you'll want to do that for both the videos that you want to play in your end screen. So now that we have our two videos with sample colors and animations, we're ready to do our subscribe animation. This one is going to be a little different as it's going to need masking to take that sample color and turn it into a circle. So to do that, open up the advanced mode and choose the circle mask. And you're going to have to play around with its height and its width to get it just right. So once you've done that, put it in between the animation. And there you go. You have your custom end screen animation. But if you want to do a little bit more, you can. You could add text. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some text underneath everything. I'm going to want to modify the text so that it says something unique. This time I'm going to put thanks for watching. And I'm going to drag it around and make sure it fits right underneath my elements. So I'm noticing that the, that the title actually isn't coming at the same time as the other elements. And uh, I'm going to have to change that. So once I'm inside the, uh, the advanced editing mode, I can just drag it to the very beginning so that it plays at the right time. And there you go. There's your custom end screen. Pretty cool, huh? And now, it's time to export it. This is what you're going to want to use and put at the end of your video. And then when you upload it to YouTube, you can fill it in just like we did with the other example. With a subscribe button in the circle and two videos of your choice in the other video squares. That's it from me. Hope these tips help you make some amazing YouTube outros. 
But before I go, I want to tell you something cool we got going on at Filmora.io. We've created an entire guide on how to grow your channel from 0 to 50 million subscribers, showing you how to get to each milestone along the way. And you can check it out by clicking on the card right here. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and you can check out some awesome videos right here. I'm going to see you next time. Ciao.